6.45 in the morning, Sunday morning, I'm just going to take you for a walk around the Cadwell Woodland circuit. Probably one of the most exciting circuits in the country, and the closest thing you'll get to a proper road circuit. So here we go, this is the start line, a very short start and finish straight before the right hand hairpin, before the top of the, uh, before the bottom of the mountain section. This is one of two hairpins on the circuit. This one, you approach this one flat out, and then you've got to be down into first gear for this one. As you can see, it goes slightly up here as we go around it. Seeker here is keeping tight, so you don't want too wide coming out. Then we'll start the uphill climb up the S's. So it's out of the right hand air pin. Accelerate hard left up this hill. Out of the left hander, then into this fairly sharp right. You've got to get around this right hander quick because it takes you up the steep climb over the over the jump at the top. Nice viewing grandstand there at the top. I'll show you how steep this is now, this bit. There we go, this is the jump. Great place for pulling wheels and things. And Even on the 250, you put both wheels off the ground up here. And over the top, there's the cap in front of you, which we'll go past shortly. Got a short straight now, this is then down to what's called farm bends, the right and left under the trees. So let's go and have a look. This is the farm bends, quite a quick right hander followed by an even sharper left under the trees. Can be very tricky if it's damp. Let's go a bit further. This is the left hander. You can make a lot of time up around this section if you're prepared to be fairly brave and uh, keep at it. You've got to work hard through here, it's quite a physical, physical circuit. It goes slightly uphill now with a slight right hand kink and what you really want to do is you want to really, you've got to hug this right hand curve just as we go up this slight rise. Put the barriers there to stop some late night practicing. How's the curve I'm talking about? So you've got to hug that. If front wheel will be up over this one as well. You've got to use all the roads through here, especially if you're having a good dive for someone. Stop them passing you. Here's the ride. Front wheel over that one. Then down into the Next very tight right hand hairpin. Okay, here's the right hand hairpin. Always reminds me a bit of Scarborough this bit. Good place for passing people. But you don't want to overshoot this corner because there's nowhere to go, you'd just be straight into them tyres. You've got to get the power down hard coming out of here. Try not to drift too wide because you end up clipping these this this tire wall. short squirt then down into what's called barn corner which is the trickiest corner on the circuit taken fairly quickly in about probably second or third gear let's go have a look okay barn corner it's far too easy on this right hander to lose the front end or the back end it's off camber and it's taken fairly quick it is a good place for passing people if you're prepared to get around it quick enough and brave enough I find I, f I hug the inside line and start winding the power on. Just about round around, about about here as we're exiting the corner. Let the bike drift out a bit to the left hand side of the track. You've got everything down here, your knees down, your exhaust scraping. 
you've got to get out of here quick because you've got the, the drive down over the start of the finish line then. Caught a lot of people out this corner. Huh? 